Hi there, I'm Christian, and in this PC Answer tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through the new Microsoft operating system, Windows 7. First of all, I'm going to show you how to install the operating system, and then I'll guide you through some of the new features. So this is it, this is the uh, box of Windows 7 Home Premium, uh, which is the standard version uh, you'll be interested in. It's about £65 uh, online, um, and that price will be going up uh, in most stores, so it's best to, to order a copy now. Now, the hardware requirements for Windows 7 are exactly the same as Windows Vista, but you will find a much better performance. And the idea behind the operating system is that it's faster, uh, leaner, and better looking than both XP and Vista. Now, what we're going to do is actually install it on a laptop here. Um, currently, we have uh, a beta version of Windows 7 on there, so we're actually going to copy over that operating system, um, which is something you can do, or you can install to a fresh drive uh, if you want to do it that way as well. Um, if you do copy over uh, any installation, whether it be XP, Vista, or in fact a beta version of 7, like we have here, it then puts those files into a windows.old folder, um, and you can get in there so some of the information back from there. But in terms of your installation, it will simply copy over that. So let's get started. So now I've put the uh, CD in the drive, and it's uh, booting off the disk. And as you can see, uh, Windows is currently uh, loading the files, and it'll just take a few moments to actually... Uh, load through those. And as I said before, I'm actually uh, copying over a previous beta version of Windows 7. Uh, and in a moment, it will um, uh, recognize that, and I can uh, uh, run a straight upgrade from there. And you can also do a custom install uh, and select a, a partition that you've pre-made. Uh, or in fact, you can make a partition if you've bought a new di uh, hard disk drive and put that in. Uh, you can uh, sort out your partitions from there, too. So it's, it's much the same as installing um, XP and Vista in, in that sense, but it is quicker. And this is the license terms which you can read through, and to accept you just uh, tick the box there and choose Next to continue. And here you have two options uh, of the installation you want to uh, install. If I'm install installing over, I can choose uh, Custom, and this will actually now show me the partitions uh, already on this uh, machine. As you can see, I've got quite a few different ones. There's one called Windows 7 already. That's because I was uh, running the beta on this machine. And that's the one I'm going to copy straight over. So I'm going to select that. So that's highlighted. And choose Next. And it, again, it prompts me that uh, you know there is already an, an installation there. Uh, I'll choose OK because I want to copy over that. Uh, and that information, including all the programs and settings, will go into a, a Windows.old folder. And so the installation process uh, begins, and this can take anything up to about uh, 20 minutes, and you can watch that progress, it sort of tells you what's uh, going on when, here we are, it's, it's, it's unpacking the Windows files, it'll show you when it's installing those, and completing the installation. And of course, uh, bear in mind that your uh, PC, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, uh, will restart uh, at least two or three times uh, before you get to the desktop. So now the uh, machine has restarted, and I've entered a name uh, for... Uh, the system, uh, and it will now require a product key. I'm going to enter that later on, and you can select to actually activate Windows uh, when you're online, um, and that's an important process, and you will get prompts to, uh, to activate it, um, and you get about a week to do that. So if I choose Next, and I can use uh, the recommended settings, so that's for Microsoft uh, Windows updates, um, so you know, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, and it's the usual process of uh, selecting your area uh, so you can get the right time, etc. So that's on, uh, on the correct one. So if we choose Next again. Uh, and it'll also identify any uh, wireless networks, or wired if you're, or if you're connected already, um, to uh, get updates as you go to the desktop. Um, but you can skip that if you wish and just uh, uh, do the final uh, uh, finalising of the settings and you'll finally get to the desktop in just a second. So here we are, just a welcome screen just before you do, and now it begins to uh, prepare the desktop for first time use. And there we are, finally the, uh, we've got to the uh, desktop, it's finished loading the settings, uh, and in the next video I'll be uh, taking you through the brand new features of Windows 7.